Hey guys and welcome to the fifth tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to fix a few bugs. We're going to fix the bug where you can uh, go up to this and your old character will remain there. And we're also going to make it so that you can get out of the ship when you hit F. So the first bug is really easy to fix. We're just going to go to our content, first person BP, blueprints, first person character, and off our possess area we're just going to do destroy actor. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Compile, save, save, play, go up, hit F, and as you can see it's no longer there, it's gone. Alright, so that's one problem fixed, but now we don't have a way to get out of the spaceship, so we'll add that. <clears throat> so close first person character, go to flying BP, blueprints, flying pawn, and then scroll to an empty area, right click, do interact, so that's when we hit our F key. But except this time it'll be when uh, we're flying the flying pawn instead of the first person character. So when we do that, we're going to make a new function. I'll teach you how to do functions. So on this side, do uh, on the left here, under functions, click new function. And we're going to name this function exit ship. So when that happens, when we hit F, we're going to call the function exit ship. Now under exit ship, what we're going to need to do is we're going to do, we don't want the player to be able to, um, for example, we don't want them to be able to exit their ship when they're too high in the sky or when they're flying over an area that doesn't have terrain. If we exit it here, we'd just fall and die, so that's just no good. So we're going to make sure that there's ground beneath the player's ship and that the player's ship speed is sufficiently slow that they can exit. So to do that, we're going to do another line trace and we need a start location. So go to the flying pond, go to your viewport, add a component, and we're going to add an arrow. We're going to move this arrow so it's to the side of the ship, and this is going to be where we exit the ship. I'll make it so the arrow is pointing down where we exit. We'll name this arrow ship exit. Now off the exit ship, function we're gonna get that new arrow we're gonna do get world location and we're gonna use this as the starting location for our line trace by channel So connect that now we want to get a location that's a few units below this location below the arrow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do vector minus vector vector minus vector and we're gonna subtract uh, we'll do 400 from the Z area, Z. We'll put that towards the end. And uh, then uh, compile that. We'll save. In the draw debug, we'll make it persistent. So we can go test that this is actually working by going and getting into a ship and hitting F. And I don't know if you can see it, but on the left, there is some arrows pointing down. And they're hitting the ground. All right, so now we need to make it that when it hits the ground successfully, uh, it spawns the player. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to break the hit results off the out hit for the line channel, and we're going to do hit component instead of hit actor because we want to get any static meshes. Sometimes actors can have more than one um, model inside them, so we want to get the component. And we're going to do is valid. This just checks that it actually exists or that we hit something. If we don't hit anything, then this won't return valid and uh, our function won't be called. Or the rest of our function won't be called, rather, I should say. Now, if it successfully does that, we want to spawn an actor from class. We're going to spawn the first person character. That's our first person character that we start with. We're going to spawn him, and then off spawn transform, we're going to make a transform. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our ship exit, and we're going to get world location. So that'll get the location of our ship exit arrow. Connect that to the location. Compile, save. And uh, so this will spawn him, but he won't be possessed yet. So what we need to do is we need to get player controller. and we need to possess 
and we need to possess the new actor that we just spawned. Alright, now uh, there is a bug that I know about when this happens where the ship will continue flying away after we've exited it. So what we want to do is we're going to do set current forward speed. We're going to set that to zero, so that'll stop the ship when we uh, exit it. Alright, so let's see if this works. Go to our game, play, go up to our ship, hit F, fly around, hit F, and it spawns me out. It's working perfectly, so we can go to another ship, hit F, fly that ship, fly around, hit F, and it'll drop me out. Now we can go back to this ship, hit F. Now if we fly away from an area where there's any uh, ground and we hit F, it doesn't do anything. I'm hitting F, but it's not doing anything because there's no ground beneath me. Fly back here, hit F, and it drops me off. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.